Hi bookends and welcome to a 10 minute book review. I'm 10. I'm 2. Two's not, I like you. Two's not feeling well so she's phoning it in. Two? You sound happy to say that. I'm generally a happy person because I'm dead inside. <laughs> so, if you die on the inside, what happens on the outside doesn't matter anymore because you're already dead. Wow, that makes you crazy. Yeah. So, uh, t this week's book review is going to be on a book that we read a while ago, but we didn't actually get around to making a video for. This book, it's okay, so the video is going to be part review, part rant, but we'll get into that. So, the book that we're reviewing today is returned it has multiple authors um marlon mcclowski lamont grant and v marie so it has multiple authors because this is the novelization of the book by the same name see it's okay that didn't help but see it's the movie it's the novelization of a movie by the same name so let's see the back of it so yes um just to give you a quick breakdown should we go through the rating part too or just just go you know yeah you you're gonna have if that's gonna be best you're gonna have to yeah okay so let's go through the rating part so oh. from me num this book got a 10 because it's african-american science fiction so we're not in the street killing people and we're also you know, not in the street hoeing, you know, even though it, that happens with any race. Any street, How about we use other language? Anyway, so we're not in the street doing those things. And, yeah. you know, any race can do those things, of course, but it seems to be with black people, we're, we're kind of jacketed or pigeonholed into those kind of roles. So I love that it was African-American sci-fi, heavy with African-American characters. And I love that it's sci-fi that was filled with science. So it wasn't just mentioning sci-fi, it was actually filled with science. And uh, it's also a movie. So it's an indie book and it's also an indie movie. So yeah, it got a 10 from me. There was some language, but it wasn't gratuitous and it wasn't frequent. We can get into why that happened, but it wasn't gratuitous and it wasn't frequent and there were no sex scenes. Okay, two, what do you give it? Uh, What's your rating, two? Um, well, I, oh boy. My rating would have to be close about the same as yours. Um, but I do take a little point away. So it's like a nine and a half because, just because of the cursing, sorry. No, okay. I, mean, I know I understand it's like street stuff. It's not even street, it's just like, you know, he the guy finds out what happened to him, he's like, What? Like, you know, it's it's understandable. It's not no, no, like no, 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 no. I mean like of the day how people tend to talk street stuff. I don't mean I don't mean anything like that in a in a way of like hood or whatever. I'm just saying it's like how people tend to talk. Okay, so that would be um, a 10, like a 10 and a 9.5, I guess. So, yeah. Close about. Yeah. yeah. So, and then for a rating, I would say PG-13, not because of... Um, Definitely. Yeah, not yeah. because of the actual content, but the subject matter of the content. Might not be for someone who's younger. Someone who's younger yeah. might not understand it. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. To get into this book, we have Ben. Despite the fact of how kids are huh? today. I said despite the fact of how kids are today. It's a maturity thing. So they, they don't understand like if it's a curse word or something like that. And they don't understand sex. But when it comes to like a maturity type, you have to have a little bit of maturity to be able to understand the book. Not a lot. Like well, it's not a hard like read. Some kids are. Some kids are very, some kids are very highly intelligent. That's the only reason why. Not intelligent. Maturity. Like a kid can know what well, sex okay, is, but still laugh fine. when they see sex. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> okay, so, say to potato, say potato. so to get into the book, Ben, um, he's a young African-American man. He's in final stage. Okay, you know, let's start from the beginning, beginning. Okay, so Ben gets dropped off. He's like 12 years old. He gets dropped off at his grandmother's house because his mother is going with his father to get treatment for an aggressive cancer that his father has. 
and unfortunately they never come back they end up going missing people just think that they were killed um, so he ends up growing up with his grandmother and he's like maybe about yeah he's, I think he's like 30 uh, he has the same form of aggressive cancer that his father had and so he's an in stage of it right now and so he's kind of a minor league jerk to the people around him he's cool to his dog though so that's nice he, he's going to New York to get treatment I think he's from Virginia I want to say but he's going to New York to get treatment for his cancer you know to see if there's something they can do to help him when he's at the airport he meets this beautiful young lady beautiful mysterious young lady and uh, because like she's beautiful and mysterious and she comes up later so Why you like that? oh my god yo let me finish oh, totally. Go ahead. You okay uh, so anyway yes so he meets her at the airport and she drops something and you know there's like the, the the drop the damsel in distress drop of something and he picks it up but he not he cans it to her he's not really paying her too much mind she tries to jump of conversation with him and he's really not for it because like i said he's a minor league jerk to everybody because he's dying and he feels bad about it they both get yeah, yeah. He's not like a jerk jerk. He's not like calling people bees or exactly. He doesn't want to be, he, I, don't, I it doesn't say this, but I think he doesn't want to create relationships because he feels like he's not going to live through those it's relationships. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's a bitter, good relationship. You don't want to be bitter, but you just feel bitter because it's like why is this happening to me? Exactly. Like he's oh even like why can't this be somebody else? <laughs> he's even like that with his friend who comes to watch his dog for him like he's like bitter towards her too and she calls him on it it's like why are you such a jerk yo and he's like sorry i'm a jerk but um yeah so they both get on the flight the flight is headed to new york please keep that in your head the flight is headed to new york this is 2003 the flight is headed to new york flash forward to 2015 they find him floating in the river he wakes up in the hospital he's like bro what happened apparently his flight disappeared and um there was no sight of the flight itself any of the passengers anything so they thought it went down over the ocean and just went away and so like well where have you been he's like i don't know y'all found me he has not aged a day now keep in mind 2003 to 2015 that's 12 years he has not aged a day, not even a gray hair. Now, that's not the biggest part of this, though. When they take him to the hospital and they do blood work on him, he's like, well, how's my cancer going? The doctor's like, cancer? Cancer? Are you talking about your sign? Because you don't have cancer. And he's just like, what? No, I was in, in stage. In fact, he looks better than he did. at. Okay, so when you see the movie, right? Because remember, it's a novelization of the movie. So when you see the movie, or did you say series? No, it's the movie. This is okay. this is the novelization. So when you see him, he looks gray, like not gray, gray. But you know how like black people, when we get like really, really sick, we turn off color. Yes. Yeah. So you turned I green a couple right of weeks now. ago. Yeah. So I've been green a few. Yeah. yeah she's, she's been green a couple of times. Green. He turned like grayish. You know. Hey, I turned gray before too. I didn't see you turn. Oh, anyway, so yeah. Wait for me, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, so when he was in the hospital, he's looking like he, like a normal person. Like he's he's brown. He he brown. Yeah, so he looked like a normal brown person. And so the FBI want to know, like, okay, bro, where you been? Where you been at? What you been doing? Where were you? Who was with you? He's like, you the FBI? You should know. So they release him because they have no reason to keep him in the hospital. But when he's in the hospital, he's looking at the TV. The news is playing. Guess who he sees on the TV? Guess who the news anchor is? Uh-huh. Miss dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Miss Pretty Lady from the airport. <laughs> so he's like, what? <laughs> so yeah, he he says, okay, I got to find this woman. I got to find her. I got to find her. He contacts the news station and she's like okay well you know I want to get she's not interested in him sexually but she's like I'll be interested in him because this is the the news the story of the century you know so 
when he goes to see her, he's like, you were on that flight with me, remember? You know what happened. She's like, bro, I wasn't on no flight with you. He's like, yes, you were. You dropped us something. We chit-chatted a little bit. I was a jerk. I'm sorry. But we were both on that plane. And she's like, bruh, when that plane took off, I was 13. I don't know you. Like, I didn't get in no pedo van. Like, I don't know you. So now he's like hyper confused. Like, wait a minute. How did this woman, who looks exactly like the woman who I got on the plane with, not, like, how did that happen? So, um, basically, you know, I'm going to say, that, okay, let, let's stop right here for a few seconds. I'm going to say spoilers. I have to give you spoilers because it's relevant to the rant part of this. So, spoilers, let's give it a few seconds. Ten, you want to do a countdown? I'm sorry, two, you want to do a countdown? <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. Now for spoilers. Turns out, brother man is an alien. No, he half alien. His mother's human, but his daddy was an alien. And so, the cancer he thought he had was really something that happens to aliens who come to Earth after they've been exposed to our atmosphere for too long. And so when he got on the plane, sister girl, the pretty woman, she got she was an alien too. And she was getting on the plane to make sure that he was safe because they planned on taking the plane. Now what happened with other people on the plane, I don't know. Maybe they were all aliens too, I, I don't know. But, um, let's check out this part. It's time for the rant. It is time for the rant. So there is this show. You knew it was coming, though. Of course. There is this show on NBC called Manifest. It's starring the guy from, um, Once Upon a Time. So what happens is he and about 191 other people get on a plane and his son who has a twin has leukemia his son has end stage leukemia childhood leukemia and uh, his sister um the man's sister prince charming's sister um her mother tells her all things happen for a reason or some such they go through some turbulence on the plane that's it they land so when they leave it is 2013 sometime in july 2013 when they arrive back to new york it's now november 2018 and everyone's shocked so the boy who had in stage leukemia he they now have a treatment that'll work to help to cure the leukemia so it's no longer in stage really for him anymore so there's a lot of similarities between this new show on NBC. It's not really new, new, but this show on NBC and also the movie slash novel Returned. So let's go through some of those similarities. I, yeah, you ready? Yep. Okay. So one of the similarities is Ben from Returned has cancer, in stage cancer. Mm -hmm. Little boy from the manifest has in stage leukemia. Both That's come basically insane. Mm hmm Both come back. Ben is cured. Little boy is going through a process that will cure him. Both were expected to die within a few months. Both come back and have a chance to live again. When Ben comes back, he he has like kind of like a psychic power. He he has these dreams and he can see hear things. Prince Charming and his sister can hear things. These little voices saying, save them, save them, save them. Yeah. Okay, some other interesting similarities. Ben leaves in 2003. Prince Charming's plane on Manifest lives, leaves in 2013. 2003, 2013. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. When Ben leaves, Ben has no idea what happens in between when he gets on the plane, you know, to when he is found. And manifest, nobody on the plane has any idea what happens once after they've gotten on the plane 
and once they land. They have no idea that any time has passed at all. <laughs> okay. And the returned mysterious pretty woman ends up saving Ben's life. Ben with cancer. Cancer Ben. She saves Cancer Ben's life because she's the one who took him away to, to get help. The little boy with leukemia, guess how he gets saved? A lovely lady on the flight is doing leukemia research. And children and her research saves him. Also something else, Ben from Returned, he saves a woman from being assaulted in a bar because he all of a sudden he has this super strength that he didn't have before. And so he saves a woman from a group of guys who are trying to assault her. Yeah. Oh. Prince Charming's sister saves two little girls who have already been assaulted, but from you know Amazing. from a bad guy. Amazing. Amazing. There are so many similarities between this book, the novelization, and you know, of course, this is a movie as well. There are so many sim similarities between this book and Manifest that it is crazy. The only similarity that they don't share is the year of creation. So this book, right, 2015, Manifest, 2018. So three year difference. Three year difference. So did NBC say, hey, this is a cool book. Let's but change it. Yeah, exactly, because of the fact that you have this book that actually came out sooner. Exactly. This is a novelization, which means there was a movie created for this book before the book came out. Mm-hmm. So, the NBC said, hey, this was like a great story about super black people. Let's make one about super white people. Yay! Oh, and a couple of brown people. A couple of brown people, too. There's some brown people up in there. One black woman. I think she has a white wife or a white girlfriend. <laughs> But there's one, there's two black people, I'm sorry, two black people and a couple of brown people. But still, they're not the main, they're not the leaders of this. They're not the main people in this. No. So we just, we thought that was so interesting. It's like, with black, it's like, it's the same story, but with black people. Oh, I'm sorry, with white people, so it's better. Same thing, different shades. Ooh. Oh, man. So, yeah, um, and to say, Manifest the Show actually didn't look like it was a bad show. Like, if I didn't, if I hadn't read this book first and saw the movie for this book first, I honestly yeah. would have been like, this is a great show. But the problem is, is that it shares so many similarities to something that came out beforehand and with black people. And like, I said, I'm looking at it as, it's Okay, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be too involved in saying certain things that can hurt one way or another because we're not trying to be sued. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come for us. We're broke. It doesn't matter if they say from a broke person. I have two shoes. You can have one of them. <laughs> okay, look, let me see if I can get this out as nicely as possible and as careful as possible. The fact that you have, once again, this book that came out at a certain time. 2015. Right. And then you have this show that is now in air. It's very possible that, I'm not trying to make accusations and say, yes, did do this, no, not. It's just the fact of just stating that it's possible that somebody there Dude, dude, wait, 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 wait. Remember how I told you it was 191 people? Okay, so it was 191 people on the flight, right? Right. For a manifest? Right. Guess how many people were on the flight? What, 193? 200. 200. 200 yeah. people on the flight for return. They took off nine people. <laughs> NBC said we don't need the other nine. Yeah, we don't want to be sued, Phil. <laughs> you kind of outright saying, like, you know, y'all did this, but, you know, like, 
Okay, let's talk about some other similarities too, right? Yeah. Okay, so Ben was on flight zero five. Zero, yeah. What was it? No, zero eight. No, zero eight two five. Zero eight two five. He was on zero eight two five, right? It's zero eight two five, right? Sorry, zero eight five zero. I'm sorry, zero eight okay. five zero. He was on flight zero eight five zero. Zero eight five zero. Zero eight five zero. What was the flight for Manifest? And theirs was eight twenty eight. Let's look at those two numbers. Zero eight five zero for return. Mm -hmm. The one who mm -hmm. came first. Zero eight five zero. Manifest. Eight two eight. Eight five zero eight two eight. Mhm. Mm so the similarities, just they keep on rolling in. Instead of it being a zero in the beginning, it's just like, just take that part off. Basically, yeah. And it's like they or couldn't even... Just a little bit, or should I say bump it down just a little bit? Exactly. And they couldn't find, they couldn't say 160 people. No, they put 191. And on this one, it says, two, <laughs> it says a right on the cover. 200 passengers disappear, 12 years, one returned. Mm. Yeah. So this is kind of like a rant slash review. The book was great. Uh, I would say I would love to see this movie, but it already is a movie because this is the novelization of the movie. Seen the movie, read the book. Both are good. Um, if you like Manifest, I mean, you know, I'm not faulting you for liking it because I like a lot of things that have been stolen. Pizza's great. I mean, it is. <laughs> Tell me you don't like pizza too. To be politically correct, mm -hmm. that is allegedly stolen. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like a lot of things that have been allegedly you stolen. Know, you have your opinion, and my opinion, I'm not going to say doesn't match up with you because it does. But you still have to put the allegedly in there because if you don't, they're going to come after us. Okay, fine. Allegedly stolen. I love allegedly stolen things like electricity. Exactly. Now you can. I say love that. allegedly <laughs> stolen <laughs> things. <laughs> even though Tulsa really was the one who created the electric circuit, but we're not even going to go into that. I love I love allegedly stolen things. Love it. Absolutely wonderful. So if you like manifest, that's or cool. Or possibly stolen something stolen, but that's what I was saying. What I was saying. What the were you fact saying? that they they are so similar in the ways of what goes on here. The book came out first, and now here it is. It could have been possible. Maybe somebody didn't read it and forgotten about it and pitched it. Dude. It's cause stuff like that happens, and then you because you got other people who go into court. For stuff like that. I'm going to go to her house and steal $20 and then be like, dude, I found this $20 in my pocket already. No, I'm Allegedly. Right no, I'm, I'm looking right at you. No, I let, well, we just looked at this book and the oh, show. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has kind of been a rant. Kind of, We don't usually do rants, but I, just, I thought there were just too many similarities floating around. That's why I just said, I'm just saying, it's very possible somebody probably read that book and then went and pitched it. Oh, yeah, and because this is the first season of Manifest, we don't exactly know what caused this with the plane, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be aliens. Because I'm sure it's not, unless they're saying, like, you know, Storybrooke opened back up so that Prince Charming could have a new life with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or uh, they're saying God did it. So, it, unless they're saying one of those two things, Storybrooke or God, is probably aliens. That's the only logical conclusion as to what happened. Unless mm -hmm. everyone is, like, every single person on the plane's in a coma right now. Or... But they're gonna have to try and switch it about just a little bit maybe they won't say it gotta be aliens there's nothing else it could be because when you watch the show they're like it's it takes about like maybe a split second they go through some chirp some turbulence oh in the movie i think they went through turbulence too i think that ben when he was on the plane they went through some kind of turbulence i think or something i don't well, know I would just like to say i've never seen manifest it's free if you go to NBC's website you, um you can watch it the first episode the mm -hmm. pilot episode and once again if you like the show that's cool if you like the show then you're gonna like the book yeah basically if you like manifest and you'll probably like watching returned and return the movie mm -hmm. you know but that has been our book review slash rant so pick up the book then. yep if go you pick up the book 
and then be the judge yourself. Yep, as, and it's on Kindle too. So if you want to buy it on Kindle for cheap, you can get it on Kindle for cheap. You know, mm -hmm. and read it that way, and then draw your own conclusions as to whether or not it was stolen, borrowed, acquired, manufactured, whatever you, whatever erred you would think it to be. It's up to you. Thanks so much for watching, yeah. and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I'm Tin. I'm Tim. See you later, bookends. Bye. Bye.